We're going to try to bomb him right here. We're going to try to beat him over the top. Hopefully, we can do it. We didn't get to roll out right here, but we got him. We got him. Oh, Russell made that throw. Catch it. Oh, my gosh. What? My offensive and defensive ebooks are now available over on HotRock.Tips. If you guys are looking to win more games than Madden 20, that's the place to be. And don't forget, use code CHAOS for 10% off at checkout. What's good, everybody? We're back with another Chaos Coach video, and you all know what that means. Whistle's out, hat's out. I'm gonna be breaking down for you everything that I do. Why I called a certain play, why I made a certain adjustment, why I put certain routes out there. Everything that I'm doing, I break down for you all. First, that starts with the lineup. Looking over the lineup, I'm sure you already see we have 99 overall, Russell Wilson at the QB. Now, I still stamp Michael Vick as the best QB in the game, but I want to give you guys a little bit of a sneak preview for our next theme team. So we're rocking with Russ today. Our running backs, Edron James, Chris Johnson, our receiving core looking great. Now, something I do want to focus on is the abilities. Abilities are so important in this game. Now, with the QB, you got to have escape artists. You got to have some type of roaming dead eye, dashing dead eye up to you guys. Now, I'm using roaming dead eye with playmaker on Russell Wilson, but QB is really easy. Escape artists, get a roaming or a dashing dead eye, and then go from there. Now, for the receivers, I'm doing the same thing on Randy Moss and Calvin Johnson. Streak specialist, super effective, slot apprentice, route technician. Route technician is very, very good. It's probably one of my favorite abilities in the game. It's going to make you crush man to man on corner routes, in routes, out routes, even curls and hitches. It helps a lot too. Defensively, team's not looking bad whatsoever. Again, I want to focus. I do want to. I do want to look at this Sheldon Richardson. I think it's going to be pretty good. Sheldon Richardson looks looks tough, but abilities, guys, so important. Aaron Donald. I have pass rush elite. I have run stopper and reach elite. Run stopper, obviously going to stop the run. Pass rush elite is going to stop the pass. Reach elite is going to do a good job on both, helping you to make extra tackles. At safety, you got to have lurker. You got. <laughs> I, I'm on the lurker train. Finally, I'm on the lurker train. You got to have that. You got to have a supreme tackler or secure tackler. He has Supreme, so I use that. And then I have Enforcer on him. Lawrence Taylor, again, just another pass rush lead I like to have out there. I put secure tackler on him so that he can help me stop the run when they go to runs. But really, he's just kind of a pass rusher guy. And then on the offensive side of the ball, if you're not using Dolphins offense, I can't help you. I, I can help you a little bit, but Dolphins offense is where the fire is at. Dolphins defense as well. That's it for me, Jibber Jabbering. Let's get into the game. All right, I'm ready to get after you see our team. We're looking tough. Now, these pregame intros for these videos are always very very long he's got kurt warner okay a little hot round master action i like it now like i said these pre-game intros are a little bit longer i'll like give you guys directions on how i start the game first and foremost before you jump into the game making sure you set your settings to if you win the coin toss kick off first second option being against the win that way if you need a game winning field goal in the fourth quarter you have the win for you or if they need a game winning field goal the wins against them that's very very important i've had it come into play before so definitely matters now once you get into the game that's where you need to make sure you're putting your guys in position to be successful. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That that wasn't me. I tried. That wasn't me putting my players in position to be successful. I need this guy kick that better. Make sure the fullback gets it. And I and he doesn't have position to make plays. But, but I was talking about putting your players in position to be successful, making your subs. So I put Lawrence Taylor at middle linebacker when I want to play run defense. But when if I want to play pass defense where I want him pass rushing, you'll see he's at the outside linebacker spot. So that's just different things that I do personally to be able to help my guys be more successful essentially so another thing that you want to do is making sure you set your audibles if you're not setting your audibles then if you're in the wrong play you have no chance of getting into the right play so oh my gosh get over here get over here come on pull in there we go so if they so essentially what they do is if they come out in a play that you think they're going to come out in and you're like oh that's not the coverage i wanted or that's not the coverage that i thought he was going to be in you can audible you can go to a play that's going to be better than that you don't want to be stuck in your in your random play because if you're stuck, then then you're probably just going to waste it down. So that's that's my spiel on that. Making sure you set your audibles. Making sure you put your guys in position to be successful. Subbing them. Because the game's not going to do it for you. They're going to put them in random outside linebackers positions. You can do some things with the sub packages to try to be able to take advantage of the things that they do. But it's not perfect. It's never picture perfect. You might want a certain pass rusher out of one formation, but you might not want him pass rushing in another. So making sure you do those subs. Making sure they're in the right position. It's going to help you out a lot. Now, he's in trips tight end. He definitely knows what he's doing, essentially, because I already saw that because he threw an out route. If you throw an out route at trips tight end, you pretty much know what you're doing. So hopefully, hopefully this is going to be a good game for you guys. Hopefully we can get some good action. Now, I'm going to try not to give up anything deep here. I'm a user in the middle deep blue, but I want to send pressure in a way that he he's not expecting. I'm sending it off the other running back side. Oh my gosh, he tried to beat me deep. That ain't going to do it. That ain't going to do it. Oh my gosh, pick the ball off, but... Early on in these games, I like to give you guys a spiel. Now, I know, I, I know I'm talking. If you guys are new to these videos, I talk in these chaos coaches a lot. I'm trying to walk you guys through them here. So, 
it's a feel out drive i'm seeing what he likes to do he's already hit me with an outside out route he's probably going to try to hit me that with that again so what i'm going to do here is i'm actually going to put a soft squat and he's not going to expect me to, to have a soft squat out there and when that happens he's, he might throw a pick on it he might throw me an outside pick but just getting pre-snap reads on what your opponent likes to do oh he missed his motion block he got hoved at so he tried to motion block again just continue to read and pick up and mental note things you want to do he's throwing an out route so i need to make sure i just don't leave a deep third out there every single time he's motion block so he's trying or at least he tried to motion block so if i send blitzes off the non-running back side he might do that to try to pick it up if i can continually note these things and put them into my mental bank oh geez that was a good punt wow but <laughs> but if i can remember these things on a fourth quarter or a fourth down on a big play i'll be i'll be able to know okay this is what he's probably going to do because i remember the things that he's done now same thing on offense i'm making sure to set my audibles do my subs all the things that i need to do to put my players in position right the same thing on defense and offense again i'm going to be feeling out what he likes to do so offensive side of the ball he ran trip side in he hit me without routes he tried to bomb me deep with the streak if i put a cloud flat out there and he tried to motion block those are all things i'm gonna remember and as the game goes on i'll pick up more things so that's just the things i'm trying to do here trying to help you guys out now i'm gonna go for a quick dot i want to get off this one yard line i don't i do not want to be stuck down here it looks like he's gonna send a lot of pressure hopefully he has a deep third out there he does swerve that up uh, i was a little baby swerve little baby swerve i didn't want to risk it i did not want to risk losing yards right there or just not catching that ball i need to be able to pick this up so i can get off this yard marker so i'm gonna do the same thing if he's gonna leave that deep third out there i will motion flat all day long now if he doesn't deep uh, third him i can probably throw the b route so either or doesn't really matter to me he puts the he puts the uh the cloud flat i oh, got it out there Woo! russell wilson great release now i took that hit stick i'm on conservative i take hit sticks all day long that's only because i sit on conservative so i'm not too worried about it now i do fumble every once in a while but for the most part i can do okay now I've got myself some space. He's been playing cover three. I'm going for the bomb. I probably wouldn't recommend it on a first and 10. I'd usually try to get to a second and short, but ah, I don't, I like to go for bombs. So I'm doing it. I, it doesn't matter to me. I've got time. Just take my hitch. He did a good job using it. There's nothing wrong with a hitch. I probably should have playmakered it. I got to get used to, <laughs> I told you I take hit sticks. I've got to get used to playmaker him. So I have Russell Wilson who has playmaker right now, but I usually use Michael Vick who never uses playmaker. So I'm not, it's not it's a skill that i haven't really worked on this year i used it in the plat past but this year eh, i haven't really worried about it too much i'm not about to run here i don't like being on a hash so if i have to if i have to run the ball to get to a hash i don't mind it Ooh, if we get some extra yards that's nice too i mean i've taken a hit stick every play but like i said on conservative you just don't really fumble the ball but there's nothing wrong with running the ball if, especially if you're in a passing offense your your offense is probably hash dependent so if you have a hash dependent offense run the ball right there there's nothing wrong with doing that so you don't want to waste it down on a pass and take a sack where you could have just ran the ball and not lost any yards right here we should have wide receiver corner pressure and accurate i'm pretty sure when we look back at this play there wasn't a single person near me but to each their own pressure and accurate it was a really good play call that corner route's really really good against cover three i'm actually gonna go to the same thing because it looks like he's doing a cover three shell he could be in a cover uh a cover zero cover one He's a man to man that should route him. There we go. I don't know why the first pass was inaccurate. We'll take that one though. We're gonna try to bomb him right here. We're gonna try to beat him over the top. Hopefully we can do it. We didn't get to roll out right here, but we got him. We got him. Oh, Russell made that throw. Catch it. Oh my gosh, what? That was the throw of a lifetime. You've gotta be kidding me. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. There's no way. Oh, I'm sick. Russell Wilson made the throw of a lifetime and uh, I don't catch it. I don't know how I didn't get my feet down. I even swerved it. You saw it. I know you saw me swerve it. I don't know how that wasn't a catch, but it is what it is, man. Got a running back. Oh my gosh. He shed me. It's gotta be the most frustrating thing in the game. When, when you throw a wide open laser, an absolute steamer, an absolute steamer and and you just get unlucky on it and then the next play you get he went off sides i am super accepting that um he went off <laughs> the next play just super shoves me with aaron donald i mean it's just so frustrating but it is what it is we're gonna bounce back it's third and 13 we're gonna continue to coach we don't have to pick it all up right here we don't we don't have to pick up all 13 we only need to get like half back i'll throw my slant i mean this guy is shedding me like freaking crazy every play these guys are just humming at me i don't know what it is but he's got two pass rushers out there so i guess that makes a little bit of sense but 
for the most part, man. I mean, holy crap, these guys are getting after your boy. We got to make up. We got to pick up ha like half. Not sorry, not half. We got to pick up some short yardage here. So if he puts the deep throw, I'll throw the flat. If not, I'll take my running back. Gonna have the running back. Gonna have the running back. Ah! Oh my gosh, dude. Good user. Good user. I should have thrown my corner out. I'm frustrated. I'm not gonna lie to you. You guys don't see me get frustrated often. Well, when you throw the steamer of a lifetime, pressure in your face, steamer, and you don't get it, eh, you can be a little bit mad about it. But it is what it is, man. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna soak on it. We are going to bounce back here. Let's see what he does. He's audible. And he's probably going to... I think he's running the ball. I'm pretty sure he's running the ball. When you do that audible... I don't know. Yeah, that's what I thought. When you do that audible and the guys move, I'm pretty sure it's an automatic tell that it's a run. Now, I don't know why they move, but when they do move, it's usually a run. Now, we switched up a little bit. He switched up a little bit. He is... Get out of there, Lawrence. He has gone to a strong close. He hasn't been in this all game. I, I was going to spy him, but he doesn't need to be spied because he has Kurt Warner. So I'm just going to use our Bobby Wagner here. And try to make sure I don't give up any bombs deep, anything like that. Strong Close is known for its bombs. If you're in cover three, cover four, cover two, you can get beat deep. So you got to be careful out there. I've got, I'm playing a cover two show, but I'm watching for the deep post, anything of that nature. And that's going to be a pick. That's going to be a pick. That's going to be a pick. Yeah, let's go, baby. Come on. Pick up a block. Pick up a block. Oh. Oh, kick. I had no stick the whole play after I got picked off. I ran into my blockers. I did everything wrong. I still almost scored. I just run out of bounds. Gosh, dang it. Okay. We're back to square run here. We're going to try to put together a drive once again. Now, I need to remember here. He's flatted that outside corner that has the X on. I think it's night train every single play. Every single play he's done that. So we're going to try to take advantage of it here. He did it again. Get over the top. Got him. Rack that thing. Gosh, I threw a pick. Oh, why am I pass leading that up? It's wide open. Oh, wow. I should be up 14-0. But because I got unlucky and because I'm bad, we have zero. I am frustrated. Come on, Kent. What are you doing? Why are you so greedy, buddy? Why are you so greedy? Oh, man, that sucks. That was an easy, easy, easy play. I got stuck right there. Good job, John Randall. All right. We have zero points. We should probably have more. The fact of the matter is we're not playing a bad game. We're not. Now, if I made a couple mistakes, have I gotten a little unlucky? Yes. But we can live with where we're at right now. I'm going to continue to use our Bobby Wagner. Continue to not try to give up anything deep. And we'll be okay. Strong close can really get bombed at any second. So I'm watching here. Nothing's open. Oh, there you go. There you go. And he and look at him. Look at him swerving like a champion. Look at me. Supposed to be a good Madden player. Swerving it right into a pick. Him swerving it into a laser. Come on, Kent. Be better. Let's go. Let's lock this dude up. Let's get off the field and let's figure it out. Come on, Kent. Win this game. All right, I'm here. I'm outside. Oh, oh, nice swerve. This dude's got a little stick to him. I see. I, I, I can take. Let me take a page out of his book. He's doing some chaos coaching to me. I need to be able to swerve like that. Now, I have gotten better. If you guys have been watching my videos consistently, you have seen I have been getting better for sure. That being said, I definitely still have some root for a puberty. I mean, you guys saw that pick. I definitely could improve, but it is what it is here. I got to make sure I continue to not give up any bombs and just, just try to get a stop. We've already got two stops. We should have already had two touchdowns, but since I want to play bad, we're not we're not winning the game, but it is what it is. Come on, post from the tight end. Yep, we're on that. I'm on the crosser. Nothing's there, man. Come on. He's running Wagner again. I'm liking this look. Since I don't have to spy him, he doesn't have an escape artist that really benefits me and how I have to play defense. I don't have to spy him at all. So I really, I kind of, it limits him on offense, but it allows me to have a lot more options on defense. When you have to spy someone, it takes away a lot of your options. Nice little... I, I can't move. Look at that. I don't know if he catches that or not. I really don't. But did you guys see me? He wouldn't stop. I, I know someone's already commented it. They probably already have. Why were you strafing? You must have been holding LT. I was not. I was not straight. I was not strafing. Gosh, dang it, dude. Oh, that's brutal. That is brutal. I'm actually going to put a spy on this play. And that's because... The reason why I'm going to put a spy on this next play is because... I know he doesn't need to run with Kurt Warner. But it actually does a good job of taking away some routes across the middle of the field. So that's what actually I'm going to do. I'm actually going to use it as like a mini mid read. So mid reads will usually play in the middle of the field, but play deep. The spy right here is going to play shallow middle. That's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to spy Wagner. I'm actually going to put a middle deep blue from Taylor. I'm going to use her stays here. So I'm going to use this spy as, as a middle mid read, which is going to lurk low. Hopefully we don't give up seven here. If we can hold a three, we'll be in good position to win the game. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's definitely our ball at half. So. We're in a decent spot. He ran the ball. He made a bad cut. Bad cut. We got lucky right there. I'm going to call timeout. 
We should be okay. I'm pulling my guy in. I'm making sure I can stop this inside zone. I'm not really worried about the... Throw my pick. Throw me my pick. Let's go. I was all over that. I knew it. Everyone in this game... Let me tell you guys right now. Let me teach you guys a little something. Let me teach you guys something. Everyone in this game that runs a trips formation. Trey Y flex. Trips tight end. Trips anything. If they come out in the trips formation, why trio? They are running verticals inside the 10-yard line. And they are throwing that seam streak. They are doing it every single time without fail. So if you're ready for it, they will throw you a pick. You can man it up. You can user it like I did there. I prefer manning it, but honestly, that clearly worked too. Trust me, guys. It will help you guys a lot if you do that. Just trust me. and It'll help you guys grandly. Now, I'm going to try to pick up a little baby dot here. I got to move down the field. I have time. There's no runoff in mutt, so I don't have to worry too, too much about it. Got hummed at. Ah, I got hummed at. Dang it. Woo. All right. Not mad at it. Not mad at it. I'm actually going to try to bomb him right here. I just saw something. He got pressure. I need to make sure I block my running back on the left. That's where he's sending his pressure off of every single time. So I'm actually going to try to beat him deep here. Hopefully it works out. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I'll, I'll be okay. I'm not going to I'm not gonna trip on it, but I think I can really beat him deep. So I have to try it here. I made sure to block the running back on that blitzing side. Get him, be get him deep. Get him deep. Get him deep. Ah, uh, it's not open. He's just going to use her there. He, he didn't want to go for anything deep there either. So I'll take my hitch. It's not the end of the world. Now, I'm, I'm a little bit short on time now that I took so long to get that first down. But if we can get a big chunk here, it's not going to be too bad. I'm going to make sure I keep blocking that blitz. He's going to send it off that left side. As long as I have the running back blocked on the left, I should be fine. Ocean slant. I can take my slant here. I have time. He's running straight for the crosser, so I'll take my slant. I dropped it. Oh, my gosh. You guys watch me play. I never drop that pass. That pass is money in the bank on that motion slant. I don't know what it is. Calvin Johnson, Randy Moss, some of the best receivers you can get. Dropping the football. But it is what it is. I'm going to go back to this play that I actually dropped earlier with Calvin Johnson. It should be able to beat this deep third. And it will. Wide open. Out of bounds. Perfect play. We got 15 yards. We got out of bounds. Keep them chains moving. Now, since he's not sending any pressure off of the right side ever, he's not switching up which side he's blitzing from. I should be able to get outside the pocket here and either throw corner route or in route by rolling to the right. We'll see what we can do with his user and manipulate him. We got the double team on Donald. Break back on the in route. Break back. He didn't break back, but he was a little behind. On the running accurate. I think I forgot to let go of RT. I'm not mad at that play. That one's on me. Usually overthrows. I'm pissed at. Whatever, whatever. That one's on me. Now, I was surprised he didn't break back with his user. That was a good job by him. Because on this play, you kind of have to make... No, don't disconnect, dude. Come on. On this play, you kind of have to make a read where it's like... Okay, you assume he's going back to the route. So, you throw the corner route over the top. He didn't break back there. But he was a little behind it anyway. So, it, I was, it made me allow to do that. Now, he sent some pressure here. He kept me in the pocket. Good play. Really, really good play. He did a mix up. I said, I said before, he hasn't switched up which side he's blitzed from one time. He's been blitzing off the, the left of screen side every play. He finally blitzed off the right. It works out for him. That's a good play. So that's okay. Now I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attack the left side again. Try to take advantage of that. Uh that he hasn't been he's been blitzing off that left side, so I can take advantage of him doing that by passing right at his blitz. That's a really, really fundamental concept that people could be using. If someone's blitzing off so if someone's blitzing off the left side that means they have less zones on the left side so that makes it easier to attack so again here i'm going to try to beat him over the top we're at the 34 yard line so we might be able to fit this pass in ah can we get it over his user i don't know if we're gonna be able to fit it or not. i i get so greedy when it comes to end of half i never want to just take the three at the end of the half i always want the full seven but it is what it is sometimes you have to do that now i'm actually going to try to uh beat him over the top again if i can do that I, I can do that but i'll keep a mini in route in case i need to throw in it something underneath a field goal is not bad here we've played a good half we offensively we felt comfortable so as long as we just don't do anything crazy here yeah i'll just playmaker him up get out of bounds we have a chance of seven but if i don't do anything crazy i'm okay with three like there's no reason i shouldn't be okay with three it's my ball at half i played really good defense and honestly offensively i should have had two more touchdowns i got unlucky and i did a bad swerve if I had just changed it up a little bit, this game's totally different. I'm up 14 nothing, and the game's practically over. So we're in a good spot here. He's going to make sure he doesn't give up anything deep. Oh, my gosh. I had I had the running back, but I, I got a little greedy there. I don't mind taking my field goal. Nothing wrong with it. He's going to call timeout here. I low-key, really low-key, want to go for this just because he called timeout for me, and he gave me a chance at seven. Uh, but good, it's actually a smart play by him. He should call timeout. We'll take our field goal. We'll go into half up 3 nothing, most likely, as long as we don't give up anything before halftime. I can live with that. So not necessarily the end of the half that we wanted. We clearly would like to be up more than three. 
But at the end of the day, man, I'm not I'm not mad with having the lead and the ball at halftime. Now, we should have our corner right here break back. That's that's what I expect him to do last time. And that's the swerve we needed. Thank you. That's what I expect him to do last time. On that play, he kind of has to make a read to go back to that in route and kind of try to time when I'm going to throw something and try to bait me. And right there, it worked out perfectly for me. He did not. He went back to the in route and I was ready to throw the corner route. So right now, I'm going to try to bomb. I've been a little bit greedy with this bomb, trying to pull it off multiple times in this game. But it's just because I got it the one time and I won it again. And we got it. We got it. Russell, Russell, Russell. That time we catch it. Let's go. That's the bomb I just wanted all day. That's all I needed. Now I feel happy. That's all I wanted. That cheered me up. I got the touchdown that I should have had in the first quarter. We can live with that. Now I got to be smart to start this half off. We have a two possession lead. I'm going to sky kick. Make sure it goes to Okoye. From there, I'm playing safe defense. I'm making sure not to give him any bombs, not to give him any long runs. Just contain him. He's coming back out in this strong close. He's kind of gotten away from the trips tight end. I'm not mad at that. But at the same time, I need to be careful not to give up anything deep. Because I'm putting a lot of trust in my corners not to get beat in man-to-man. -man. I'm on that. I'm on that. Oh, Khalil Mack just swatted my pick. He just swatted my own pick. Again, though, I'm putting a lot of trust in my in my own players and my own corners. to Play man-to-man -man defense, not get beat over the top. I am shading over the top, so it should be okay. Now, I am activated with Maze, so I want to run around and do something crazy with him. Got the cross route. I bumped it. He did not still beat him on that crossing route. Thank you. I mean, I literally bumped him for Rob Woodson. How are you getting beat deep when you have 99 speed and I bumped the guy? But I, I'm done putting pressure on my guys. Now that I know he has to pass right here, I'm going to go back to a, more of a pass defense. So I'm setting it up like I'm looking like I'm playing run defense, but it's actually straight pass defense. And we shouldn't get beat anywhere. I, I don't think. I mean, he, he did go to the deep corner route, but I'm going to be ready for any deep corner routes. I have a mid read for any deep ends um hopefully we should be okay he, he max bro we're okay we're on everything nothing's there nothing's there nothing's there oh my gosh, oh my gosh. lord Taylor, this is all you gotta do this is all you gotta do Psh. watch 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 Psh. that's all you had to do right there what are you doing buddy i didn't have time to click on right there he's got to be able to make that play though come on all right i'm on wagner i'm on wagner Hopefully, we're, we're doing a decent job against the run. We're doing a good job against the pass. We haven't given up much of anything this game. Ready for the deep corner. Oh, wow. Nice play. Nice swerve. Wow. That's literally what I said we didn't have to do. Oh, my gosh. Literally. All I said was what? Don't give up any deep bombs. What do I do? I, I'm telling you guys. I was saying this, I was saying this earlier. Um, the only thing that I do in these videos is teach you guys... Tell you guys the right plays to make. And then I go out and do the wrong ones. That's what chaos coaching is. Don't watch what I do. Watch what I say. All I do is recommend to people not to give up bombs on a certain situation. I give up a bomb. Kick the field goal. I don't kick the field goal. I mean, there's just so many wrong things that I do that you guys can learn from. And I love it. That being said, we got to make sure we don't lose this game. So I, he's been deep. He's been clouding that guy on the right side. So I'm going to try to get outside the pocket here. Oh, we had him. He got home. Good play really good blitz again i said he's been blitzing off the one side only the whole game he sends the middle linebacker again now i did have my corner out it was there but just gonna make the play he's got pat tillman chasing after me it makes it tough so i'm in a position here where i'm actually in trouble in this game i cannot i can't give up i can't give him the ball back without scoring so he's been playing this cover three on the right i'm gonna put this corner this corner route's been crushing him that's one thing that i have not been taking advantage of that i need to take advantage of more he's leaving that cover three on the right i need to take advantage of that I feel like he, he's finally going to get rid of it here. He is finally going to get rid of it because I've been crushing him with it and he he has to. So running back, running back, running back. Good catch, CJ. I don't know if you noticed, but on that play, he did get rid of his deep third. I'm pretty sure on the right side. He had left that cover three all game. I'd hit him with that corner route three times and he puts it back. The one time, the one time he puts it back, we get that corner route again. If he doesn't make an adjustment, I will throw that corner route all day long. I have no problems with it. No problems with it whatsoever. It's wide open. It's wide open. So if he doesn't make an adjustment, I'm going to continue to take it. Now, I am going to try to get outside the pocket right here. He's going to blitz off the left side. If I if I get this chop block, I should have a wide open pass either to my corner route or my streak, depending on what type of coverage he uses. And he didn't send the pressure. I want to chuck that streak at him so bad. I wanted to chuck that streak so bad. If I had gotten outside the pocket like the way I wanted to, I am 1,000% throwing that streak because the number one rule is the number one rule is they always break off so ah, i couldn't get outside the pocket that's unfortunate but i'm actually going to do the same thing i think because it was there 
It was 100% there. I will make sure I get outside the pocket this time. Oh, please send Tillman. He's been sending Tillman all game. Please do it again. If he sends Tillman, I will get outside. And when that happens, he's going to leave me the streak. And I'm chucking it right at him. Here we go. Oh, he didn't send him. I'm chucking it. I'm chucking it. I'm chucking it. I'm chucking it. Now he didn't break off like I thought. He did not. He did not break off. But you know what? Calvin Johnson has streak specialist. He's got 99 speed. And you know what? He is 6'5". So I am chucking that sucker every single time. Let's go. Been a little bit of a crazy start to the half. I'll be honest. The first half, not very many points. A lot of weird drops, bad reads, bad swerves, bad whatevers. Not many points. This half, two bombs. No, check that. Three bombs total. So here we go. We just got to get this stop right here again. I got to be safe. If I'm safe, we will win the game. Oh my gosh, he is just picking me apart right now. He knows every time I'm in a coverage, he's beating a deep. When I was in cover two, he beats me deep. When, I, when I'm in a uh, safe coverage, he just motions out a corner rock. He's crushing me right now. I got to be better. Again, I'm watching the bombs myself. It's pretty much any coverage you're in, you can get bombed out of split close. You're in cover two, you can get bombed. You're in cover three, you can get bombed. So you really have to be just be wary of where the deep routes are coming from and be ready to stop it. So he's got the crosser here. I'm fine. Oh my gosh. Oh, he did the check and release, but I... Did not think it was open. I'll tell you one thing, though. He did a really good job this game of getting out of the trips tight end and getting into the split close. I feel like he's going to be a lot more. He's been a lot more successful in the strong close than he would have been in the trips tight end. Trips tight end, I feel like I can do a good job against. I can scream at it some. I can say, I can play some coverage defense against it. But, oh, nice play. Nice play. The strong close, it's so tough because you can't necessarily blitz it because they can just run on you. But if you if you just sit there and play coverage defense, they can dot you. So that's one of the it's one of the few formations you kind of have to be ready for everything. That being said, we might send some dogs right here. We might send some dogs right here. <laughs> if we oh my gosh, I got stuck. Ooh, ooh. Oh my goodness, that was almost the craziest, luckiest click on of all time. Here's the chess match with split close with, with strong close. They can run the ball. They can pass. So you have to know, okay, when are they running the ball? When are they passing? I think he's running the ball right here. It's third and two. It's Madden 20. I think he's going to run the ball. Now, if it was not, if it was a different game, it's probably passing. But since it's Madden 20, I think he's running, especially with this motion over. Yep, there it is. There it is. We're on it. Let's go. I played run D. I told you guys that because it's a, now, now I think he runs. Now, excuse me. Now I think he passes. I showed him how to stop the run on, on fourth, on third and two. Ooh, he's going to kick. It's not, the, it's not a bad decision, actually. It's not a bad decision. He hasn't played the worst defense. Um, if he doesn't give up bombs, I've actually been, uh, not bad, but like having to work pretty hard to move the ball down the field. So not a terrible decision by him, but that being said, if we go get a field goal, we win the game. Hopefully he doesn't send pressure off the right here. If he doesn't, we're going to be able to roll out and throw this corner out over the dot. We got it. We got it. Oh, throw the ball away. We didn't have enough time. He ran it slow. That corner route's weird. Sometimes they run it really, really fast. They get over the cloud, like in a heartbeat. Sometimes they run it really, really slow. They get bumped a lot and it takes them forever to get out there. That was one of the slow ones. Not the end of the world here. I got to stop going for bombs, though. I got to stop going for bombs. Let's just take our baby dots. There's nothing wrong with taking baby dots. And we honestly can do it. We can do a good job of it. So here we go. We're, oh, my gosh. Step up. Step up. Oh, that's on me. That is on me. Yes, he shed. Yes, he shed. But I know when I can blame a shed on this game's like just shedding so crazy. Or if, wow, like I actually could have easily stepped up in the pocket there and thrown a laser. So that one's on me. I'm mad at myself on that one, honestly. There's, there's no one else I can be mad at. Now, hopefully he doesn't send seven right here. If he does, I'll be in some trouble. He only, okay, he only sent six. We got it. Playmaker up. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. Yeah, that was a dot. It, it worked out for me, right? That's where I, that's why I actually don't like having playmaker. Um, I was really used to Vic. And when you playmaker up a slant like that uh, with Vic, he goes diagonally towards the sideline where he had no zones, no cloud, no deep blue, no anything out there. Right there with playmaker, he goes straight up the field. So obviously what happens is he goes right where the deep blues were. So that's not what I wanted at all, but ended up working out. Okay. We caught it. Got our, got our hitch there. Nice rack. Ooh, I got it. I know I'm on conservative. I told you guys before I rarely fumble. I got to stop taking hits. This I do it really like every play second and two here. I'm going to audible down and run the ball. I want to own a bit of clock him. So I'll, I'll, I'll do the chaos coaching. You got to run the ball right here. You got to let it get to the two thirty that you can take it under the two minute warning and you got to run the ball, especially because I'm not on a hash. I've already told you, I hate not being on a hash. So I'll, I'll motion over. I'll run the ball. If he blows me up, he blows me up. But if I get a couple, it's perfect. I, I got to a hash there. I didn't gain anything, but I got to a hash so I can actually pass the ball if I want. Now I can take it to the two minute warning. 
and we'll we'll drop our best play on third and two now something he's been doing all game is he's been leaving that cloud flat on the left when i motion out x to take away my motion flat but here's what i'm going to do right here i'm going to motion out on a streak the corner route's going to hold the cloud flat ideally and then we should have a bomb over the top that's just what i'm guessing hopefully it works out it did kind of but he has a guy there so nothing open we're okay we are in, on to fourth and two i'll kick my field goal luckily we were in field goal range so that's why that's why you can take a shot right there honestly if i'm if i'm not in field goal range there i can't take my shot i literally honestly i probably should have ran the ball regardless i might have missed this Ooh. but you can't take your shot there if you're not in field goal range because you need the points now i'm up seven that puts me up two possessions prime spot i can take my shot now should i have thrown it when i realized it wasn't open eh, maybe not but you guys know me. You guys know me. I'm going for the stats. I'm going for it all. I'm going for the glory. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm just, I, I like to throw the ball deep. So if I have a chance at it, give, give Calvin Johnson the ball. I'm going to do it again. Same scenario as before. The scenario is do not give up any deep passes. I have deep halves out there. I'm not giving up anything. I'm ready for this motion out. If he motions out a guy on his corner route, I'm there. Crossing route might be there. We'll give that up. Anything about, geez, I was going to say anything in bounds. We're cool with not 50 yards and out of bounds you know i'm actually gonna mix in some pressure here i haven't really mixed in much pressure against this guy this game and now is the perfect time to do it i haven't done it all game so why not do it now why not try to take advantage of him if he blocks a lot of people we should still get home with a good touch up you guys know i like a nice little touch up just touch this right tackle up get home we got a guy in he's coming in free yes sir he can't move he can't move back there with with, with kurt warner so you send that pressure and you get home you know you're humming we'll take that let's go let's keep it move i'm doing the same thing I am doing the same thing with my middle deep blue here. I'm going to grab Troy Palomalu. He shouldn't have anything again. We should get home here. But if we don't, again, I'm just going to make sure I get a good touch up. I just want to make sure he stays in bounds. He doesn't have a ton of time. So if I make him take his timeouts, that's going to be prime scenario for us. Nice little touch up. We didn't get home. He max pro a bump. The other one's not open. That's bad by me. That is bad by me. The other one's not getting open. The deep one's not getting open. Just lurk the underneath one. That's, that's all on my user. Now, I'm actually going to pretend to send pressure right here. But I'm not going to do it. I showed the look. But I'm not sending the pressure. You guys see it. I'm not sending it. Put my purple out there. Put my deep blue. We're in good shape. We are in really, really good shape. I'm going to use her maze here. Hopefully he doesn't get this corner out open. I'm going to make sure I take it away early. I'm there. Nothing's open. Nothing's open, baby. Nothing's open. Now he's letting this clock tick. I, I was ready to get in the next play, but he is letting this clock tick. I don't know what he's doing. It's like he's given up because... He's down two possessions. I don't, I'm not sure if he doesn't know he's down to down two, possession, two possessions or if he's just given up, but it is what it is. This game's pretty much over now. That he's let the clock run. I know he's trying to save his timeouts, but he's taking a long time to call his plays. So I'm just going to make sure I try not to give him anything deep, but the game's essentially over at this point. Another sack for us. Love to see it. That's going to pretty much finish the game off. Guys, I hope this was video. I hope this video was helpful for you. Hope you guys did learn something. I know it wasn't probably my best offensive game. I did get the... I did drop that one pass, um, and then I did have the bad swerve for the pick, but we ended up picking it up. We ended up getting 20 points, and honestly, you guys learn You guys learn from me when I make a mistake just as much as you do when I do something good. Um, I mean, throwing the uh, throwing that pick, throwing that, not, not that pick, but um, throwing, throwing that pass that got deflected when I should have probably just thrown the ball away or uh, taking a sack and let the clock run or probably should have just ran the ball. Those things are good scenarios for you guys to remember. And something else that you guys were able to remember was early on in the game when he throws that out, out, out from trips tight end. And the next time I put a soft squad, it takes it away. Those types of things you can learn from. And I hope I hope it was helpful. That's the point of these videos is to be helpful to you guys. So that's it for me, man. Please continue to support the channel as much as you guys have. I love you guys for it. You guys have been amazing. Thank you so much. Take it easy. Peace. Oh, I'm tired after that one. Calvin Johnson. Oh my goodness. When he dropped that pass, I wanted to spaz.